how you feel like so many niggas holding their nuts on each other with this rap shit. If it's if it's a rap bag, it's a rap bag. You hear me? Why? If a nigga getting two thousand views and another nigga getting six thousand views, you hear me? That's eight thousand views if they work together. You know what I'm saying? So why niggas holding their nuts on each other? Like, is it hate? Is it just niggas feel like how you feel? Fuck, nigga ain't help me, so why should I help them? Like, what what you think it is? Shit, man, I feel like nigga. Nigga feel like a nigga gotta open up the door for them. Mm -hmm. Nigga feel like a nigga just cause he made you supposed to open up the door for him. A nigga that you ain't never really been around. Like you ain't never like that. You ain't never really hang around with me. Why the fuck you not gotta open the door for you? You better open the door for yourself. Mm -hmm. Breaking that bitch, kick that bitch down or something. Fuck, real talk. They I guess because it happened in one in one state, I ain't I don't know which state it happened in first. But you know what I'm saying? I know Gucci Mane did it for sure. He got a, he got big and helped all the artists up under him. I guess that's how they feel like it should be. Like they feel like some niggas feel like that because they got the, the, the power. Mm -hmm. They got the power, and you know they can change. They can change a lot of shit. Like make a lot of people. Like you can do that. You know you, got, you in that position. But shit, some niggas don't really be. And with that shit, you got it. It is a trusting process. Mm -hmm. Like when you put a nigga on. Mm -hmm. I ain't, I can't even trust a nigga like that. To invest the money and shit. Yeah. I guess niggas feel like that shit too. Like, you can't trust a nigga like So, do you, um, I don't, I don't know how I'm trying to ask this question, but in your, do, do you ever see yourself signing or do you do you see yourself staying independent? I, I really, nigga be like, don't sign a deal, don't sign a deal, man, the label's bullshit. Man, put me in the fucking industry, dog. Put Give me a fucking industry. deal. Give me a fucking deal, man. I ain't lying. You tell the truth, all right, you get a one million dollar deal, nigga. Niggas spend their money on bullshit, like you know. You gotta be smart with your shit. But it's, I ain't gonna lie, you you calling it bullshit, but the shit that the rappers spend that that money on is is not bullshit. It's all for looks. Like as when you think of a rapper, what you think of a nigga with a big stupid ass chain. So when they get that money, what they do they go get them a big stupid ass chain, nigga. Fancy clothes. That's what they think of when they see rap with big money phones right, that, that, and shit. That's cool. They, that's why. That's you know cool what I'm saying, that's, that's cool though. You get a big ass chain. All right. You can get a big ass chain. You ain't gotta get three big ass chains though. Niggas, oh, I feel like niggas overdo it. Yeah, that's that's understandable. Niggas overdo it. You nigga, you what? Nigga, what the fuck you gonna get? Three Lambos for nigga? Nigga, come on. It's a million dollars in cars, right there. Exactly, my nigga. Fuck, you might as well just go ahead and get you a range, my nigga, that you gonna be in there then. Okay, so. Um, like, my nigga, I can't even count on my hands and feet how many rappers done been killed. And I ain't, I ain't even finna put in that own city shit, you hear me? How many rappers been killed, period. And the, the thing about rappers is they always keep an entourage with them. So I'm saying, is it the rapper fault? Is it the entourage fault? How, give me a couple tips for a rapper to be safe. Like, how should a rapper carry themselves? How should a rapper move? Tell the truth, it's all about the way you move. Like, if you, if you that nigga that keep 30 niggas around you, just know like 10 of them niggas gonna be stealing from you. Mm -hmm. So be prepared to take your losses. Mm -hmm. like, be prepared to take your losses. If you a nigga that like to stay by yourself, be prepared for niggas to test you all the time. Mm -hmm. Like you, it, it's all about how the way you, you go move. Hand hand. You go hand in hand. Like, real talk, you gotta really, it, if you keep it a lot of niggas around you, nigga ain't gonna play with you cause then you know, you got a whole 30 niggas behind you. So, so do you believe like at the age you is now? Do you believe that you can meet somebody now and it be like your fucking dog? Like you know what I'm saying? Like you just on some G shit, you meet him at school or something now, y'all. Do you feel like he could just jump into that and be in your dog, you knowing he a new nigga and you got the knowledge that you is now of how some people act and shit like that? Do you could you see in yourself? You know what I'm saying? Coming that close to somebody that quick? I don't know, son. You can't really call it. If, 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 if the love up, you gonna know the love up. Like you don't, even if a nigga, even if a nigga, like I ain't gonna say a nigga you just met, you just like you nigga come from out like you can't. I don't think it'll work like that. Like if it's a nigga that like you been knowing, but now y'all really just getting cool. Like you know I'm like you know what I mean. Like you been knowing a nigga, but y'all just getting cool. Yeah, I don't I, like at this age I don't feel like you can just meet a nigga and be like, yeah, I don't feel like that with a bitch either. Like, you just can't meet a female like. You feel like so she got her past life and you got your past life. That might not run. The same. Okay. Yeah. Right.